Hi, happy Wednesday to each of you. I've been reading through uh, this little book from Kairos, which is a prison ministry um, that I'm tangentially involved in. And we've had uh, some Kairos uh, fellows and ministers to our Lenten suppers. And um, I, fe- I just love this little prayer book that they uh, give out. Um, and they start one of their prayers with Christ the prisoner. Christ was a prisoner. He allowed himself to be taken a prisoner in the garden after his agony, to be bound and led away to a trial, which was a mockery of justice. He endured torture after being unjustly condemned to death. His stay on death row was very short, followed by a public execution that lasted three hours. All this to set us free. Part of being free is to go to the Father through Christ under the guidance of the Holy Ghost as we bring our brothers and sisters along with us. I love that idea of uh, being free to go to the Father through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I've been particularly thinking about the different ways that we uh, bring our brothers and sisters along, that we share in community on Sunday during our worship in person and on Zoom, uh, but in many other ways. And uh, that's my invitation uh, and our invitation today. We we share this through our evening prayer service on Wednesday nights, through our brown bag Bible study on Thursday, through our Dorcas uh, Guild, uh, through the Episcopal Men's Fellowship, and through various other interactions that, with one another, the pandemic support Zoom, serving on vestry. In other words, all these things that bring us together as a group and help us to bond and create um, ties and to get to know one another. Well, in in the midst of a pandemic and and as we continue to slowly come out of the pandemic, connecting with one another is just so important. And so if you're interested um, and have the time available to to join a small group, um, we're going to open up some opportunities for a small group ministry, uh, the details of which are spelled out on the website and in our weekly email. And you'll hear more about this, but it's a commitment to, to meet uh, eight or nine times um, with a, a, a group of parishioners, either on Zoom or in person or through a hybrid. And uh, the curriculum will be developed using a lot of Bishop Curry's information on the way of love, uh, but will be full of scripture and provide opportunity for connection and uh, deep interaction with one another. Call me or email me with any questions. I hope you all have a wonderful Wednesday. It's certainly getting chilly. That does mean that I'm thinking about skiing, but we the slopes haven't opened yet, and I hope that you're uh, safe and well on this Wednesday. Peace.